Welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm going to be doing some videos starting from scratch, brand new. We have three fields 12, 14, and 15. This one needs to be harvested. Got the harvester right there. And this one needs to be cultivated which will get in, catch it, drive up a little bit, and hire a helper. I guess we're not gonna do it. Not yet anyways. So we'll let him cultivate the field. So we're gonna go over here. Field 12, which seems like a long walk. And that's where the water is, you can fill water tanks. And this one needs to be seeded. So we get in here, attach it, move up, and help. And that will seed, that's gonna put weed on the field. Uh oh. Oh, because I'm in his way, okay. So we're going to go back to the harvester. And we're going to start harvesting. Because that's where you make the money. So yeah, this game is better than 15. A lot more stuff to do. And I'll show you around the farm during the course of this series so we got to unfold the harvester now we can turn it on and let's get harvesting make some money this money is important we are not going to we don't have anything to pick up the straw to make bales we can sell in that red barn right there and make some more money but we don't have the machinery to do so So yeah, you gotta put people like, oh, this, this is farming, it's like, you have to work. But this game is so interesting, like, when I first heard about it, I was like, no, it has to be stupid. No way this can be any fun. But, to tell you the truth, it is actually a lot of fun. When I see streamers I watch start playing 15, I downloaded it. Yeah, I'm like, okay, cool game. Gotta play it. So I highly recommend this game. If you're like simulators. Now if you like, you know, first person shooters or fantasy games or whatnot, then maybe it's not a game for you, but if you're a big fan of simulators, and granted, if you're a fan of the middle of the games, you're not a big fan of simulation, you won't be watching this video. I'm gonna see the guy in the cultivator doing a good job. So I'm gonna try to make these videos as long enough to get a lot of stuff done or uh, but not long enough where it's too long to watch so I'm thinking about maybe 20 minutes I'm going to get a lot of done in 20 minutes another thing of this job we'll probably be doing on the next video will be you can do jobs for other farmers on the other fields to make more money and you gotta do that to make the money to buy fields, buy equipment. All the other fun stuff, so. So 
So I think the goal of this video will be, like this series, is make a million dollars in profits. I do not know how long that's going to take us, but it may take a hundred videos, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it less than that, I haven't really thought about it. Especially 20 minute videos. But yeah, you can do, uh, you can sell your crop, you can actually cut the grass, use the glass grip, ripping clippings for, um, silage, you can sell the silage or use it to feed your animals, which you can get cows, pigs, and chickens, and sheep in this game. And of course you have to take care of them, feed them, water them, the cows give you milk, the sheep gives you wool that you can sell. I'm guessing pigs give you bacon. I'm not sure what pigs actually do in a game yet. I haven't really looked into that part. See what else can you do? Also, there's forestry. You can cut down trees, sell the lumber to lumber yards. There's equipment for that you can buy. There is so much things you can do in this game. It's just amazing how so as you can see we're at 52% fill which we do have to empty out the harvester when it's full where we do have a tractor with a tipper in the back a tra tipper trailer Right in by the house. We empty that, take it to our silos. You can go and sell it right away. And there's different sell points where the price is what they pay and it always changes. Sometimes it goes down, so it's safe to like save it until it goes up again. If you want to maximize your profits like if you know real business. You know, it could be like a thousand pounds a liter or whatever. Oh. And the next day it could be 500 and but you're like no I'm not going to sell it for 500 I'm going to sell it for a thousand so you put it into your silos which is right in the background right there and then you can when the prices go up you can go take it to the whatever's paying the most Another cool feature of this game, and what I've seen on this map only, is trains. You can actually transport lumber and crop in the train. Take it to like lumber yard or a place to sell. Because this is a sell point for grain that you can only deliver by train. So you have to take it to the train yard and empty there and load it onto the train. Take the train to the drop off point. Line up with the, I don't know what you call it, the place where you drop the grain into, and they give you money. That wasn't in 15, that's new. Another thing that's new is animals don't appear on your farm like 15. You buy animals, it don't show up. You can either pay for them to ship it to your farm or you can buy tra animal trailers and transport them there which I think is another good feature of the game and we're 82% full so what we're going to do we're going to finish up this line right here it's one thing I want to make it realistic because we don't want to drive on our crop it's probably in the game, there's really no damage into crops you can drive in onto it, but there's a mod for that, which I might activate. So 
Sorry to hit a vape. Oh, what do I do? I just said I was going to empty it out right now. So what we're going to do is... You have to put the pipe out. So we get out. We can tab it, but I'm gonna be realistic. Oh, I'm like, did you stop? You better not have stopped. Sometimes the help is not great. Sometimes you gotta fire them. You get in here, connect the trailer, and drive up. To the harvester. So oh, you bam blam. I don't empty out into the tipper. And I'll show you what else we can do. Because you can put the harvester on with helper and then drive next to it. It would extend the pipe out and empty while it's still moving, which is pretty cool. Sometimes it stops though, but it might be because I have it on normal, not hard. I think on hard it keeps going. It might stop. So let's take this to our silo. Which is a place to store commodities. Which is pretty much said. You hit I and it empties it out. And it puts it in the silos. And this is where you um, empty it out onto the silo. Into your like trippers and take it to cell points. So let's go back to the harvester. And I'm gonna put this on helper the pipe back in and yet yeah, using helpers do cost money but if you're doing this by yourself you have no other options than to use helpers just because but there is 31 fields on this map Go to the tipper. Uh oh, he missed a whole lot of spots. We have to fix that. The helpers, they just go in a straight line. So if you were crooked in any way, it's not going to pick that up. So we're going to wait till he turns around. See if he's gonna go pick up that spot. Nope, it's gonna go. I know a lot of YouTubers, they will make this high speed it till it gets done quicker. And I might eventually do that, but for now. So, what you do, you just Pretty much, oh, we gotta hurry up before he gets to the other end. Not dilly dally. The whole put is the arm out. Oops. Oh, he's gonna stop. Sometimes they keep moving over a block, and that's why. But he'll continue to go. See if it if we keep a distance from him, let's see what he does. Here we go. Okay. Oh, he's gonna stop. Alright. 
might be because I got it on normal mode. I think on hard mode it will keep going. While he's doing that, let's take a look at our the other guys. Oh, why is it not tabbing to the other? Hmm. It's not tabbing to, uh... Usually you hit tab, it goes through the other vehicle. So I gotta look at that. So let's keep, take a look at the other guys. Yeah, you pretty much got more than half done, which is good. Doing a good job. This guy is cruising. Yeah, he's about half done. You can see it like you can tell the difference between it cultivated and seeded. And you gotta see like the soil <coughs> get out of his way. Go see a look at the soil graphics on this game. It is very highly textured, it's pretty cool. Oh we gotta beat him. Not getting his way. Don't hit a tree, that would be bad. And as you can see, the texture of the ground is just awesome. Compared to... Like a perfectly harvest field, it's... See if we can beat him. But I don't know why Tab doesn't work. I'll have to look into that. Another thing about this game, oh yeah, there's chickens. We get the chicken pen is over here. And I gotta show you something about this game. And yet we have to fix that yet. We'll fix that the next next uh, video. Farm Sim 17 videos will come out every other day. Jump the pens, here's our chickens. I wanna fight I wanna fight them, but they're too chicken. I know, very corny, I know. But here's you get gold nuggets. There's a hundred of them across the whole farm. The whole map. And they're hitting and you gotta find them. You find them all, you get a million dollars. Another cool thing about this game is you can actually pick stuff up, move it, oh, or do that. There's some empty boxes, I don't know what they're for. A greenhouse you can't go into, but there's greenhouses in this game, makes you money. And hoses. <clears throat> you can pick it up, take it, throw it on the roof. Oh, it landed. There's also a basketball court where you can actually shoot baskets, which is pretty cool. Well, this is going to be this episode of Farming Simulators 2017. Stay tuned tomorrow for a Euro Truck Simulator. Till then, I hope everybody has a great day. See ya.